It's been some time since we heard from the task force that was assembled to monitor for tears in the universe as encountered in the Nakul system a while ago. That saw a fissure into another galaxy when the Lucari ship the Treloon was pulled inside, but it was then sealed away by the Tholians and Lucari technology. Disaster averted. Now a new fissure has been detected and it's in a frankly horrid location. While out on our patrol missions, Admiral Quinn contacts us directly to inform us of the issue. Alliance scientists have detected an active critical level reality vortex near Starbase 1. Admiral Kumarke of the Lucari and several others are on site working to close the vortex with protomatter based technology. They'd like your help. Proceed to Starbase 1 and report to Admiral Kumarke. Offer any assistance she requires. Losing one of our most important stations would be a severe blow to Starfleet and the Federation. Quinn, out. Starbase 1 is an important location to the Federation. For most of the mid-23rd century, it was the main starbase of operations while Earth space dock was still being constructed. This makes it the centre of operations during the First Klingon War, and it orbits a terraformed planetoid out of the Oort cloud of the Sol system. For a fissure to open up there is alarming because the last one radiated effects that destabilised the nearest star. And while further away, what if this one does the same? Making a 180, we turn back towards the Sol system and move to join the already assembled team. Today, we are the reinforcements. Under attack in the system by a fleet. Repeat, this is the USS at Starbase One. We are under Federation Starbase One. We are the Borg. Submit to our authority and prepare for assimilation. Resistance will be annihilated. Oh. Captain Kim? Looks like he's finally been reassigned from the Kabali front. Can you hear us? Respond. This is Bright Eyes, commander of TAS Vintok. Thank you for your timely assistance. To request a status report, press 1. Sorry, status report. We were conducting a procedure with Admiral Kumarke on the vortex when it began to fluctuate wildly. Before we could compensate, the enemy vessels began to emerge from the vortex and attack. Enemy vessels, they look like Borg. <sighs> Although you'd hope they'd have stopped attacking 001 by now. Historically, it's never worked out for them. Indeed. While our forces have fought valiantly, we are outmatched. Several ships, including the Inaway, are held in tractor beams. We believe they are primary targets for assimilation. We must release those ships at once. Admiral Kumarke is aboard the Inaway, along with her data on protomatter and the vortices. That must not fall into the hands of the Borg. Okay, so the priority is to free those vessels before the worst happens. You will need to disable the cube in order to target the tractor beams. Right. I should say it wouldn't be too hard. The Borg are not the threat they once posed a couple of decades ago. 
However, that is only one ship. Resistance will be annihilated. Not the usual line from the board. And it's fending off an entire fleet. And that captain has the right of it. That's not usually what the Borg say. Warp containment failing. Breach imminent. I repeat, breach. Okay, we we better get in there. I see the trees of Lucar. I see them. Oh, we just lost another one. We engage the Borg cube and find ourselves making slow progress against their shielding. What's more, their regeneration speed is far higher than expected. Initiate phaser remodulation and increase power to the emitters. The cube is vulnerable now. Target the tractor beam and fire. Structural integrity has failed. All hands, abandon ship. When we finally are able to break through the shielding, we're able to target one of the tractor beam emitters to break its hold on our ships. However, the vessel's shielding immediately restores. Tractor emitter disabled, but the board have restored their shields. Concentrate fire on the cube once more. This is a very hardy cube. Starfleet's become pretty adept at combating Borg, but this vessel? It's holding its own against our fleet. So I suspect that these Borg have, well, finally adapted, or that they're using this rift to arrive here from another realm, universe, or even maybe timeline? The cube is vulnerable once again. Concentrate fire on the remaining tractor emitter. This ship is definitely more than the Borg that we've come to know. Those enemies, although still relentless and not to be underestimated, were ruined by Admiral Janeway's virus that broke down their collective. It left them fractured, disorganised for quite some time, all while their enemies, that's us and every other major power of the Quadrants, continued on, even reverse engineering the Borg's own finds. We grew while they stood still, so by the time we renewed their assaults, we were ready for them. It was far more of an even playing field by 2409, and they were more of an annoyance than a true threat so long as we were proactive. This thing though... Oof. Final tractor emitter disabled. Our ships are free to maneuver. Nice work, but we're not out of this yet. We've been boarded by the board on multiple decks. Well, that tactic is still the same. How can we assist? The highest concentration of board is on the engineering deck. We think they're targeting Admiral Camarque and her Vortex technology. Send your reinforcements there immediately! Oh, definitely. We'll beam over to secure the Admiral straight away. We beam over to the inner way and are greeted by one of Kim's staff, Dr. Aaron McDonald. So, Dr. McDonald here is a character featured in Star Trek Prodigy 2 in 2384 and was lecturing at Starfleet Academy. The character is a recreation of the real-life science consultant of the same name. Thanks for coming. We need all the help we can get against the Borg. Yes, these Borg seem different. Uh, this way. Commander. Aaron McDonald, Astrophysics. I was on my way to assist Admiral Kumarke when all hell broke loose. Frankly, I'm lucky to be alive. I'm a scientist, not a security officer. Where is the Admiral now? Securing her and the data is priority. Main engineering, I believe. We'll need to move fast and hit hard. These new Borg are incredibly tough and brutal. It's disturbing. Fighting the Borg requires periodic recalibration of your phases, otherwise they adapt to them and stop being effective. When we have made sure that we're equipped, we ask her to lead the way. We should get moving. Are you ready to go? Indeed, after you. We can immediately see the damage that's been done to the inner way. It's an Orga class science vessel specifically designed to observe and monitor temporal disruptions, and it was launched this year. Watch out! It's one of their drones! Hey, a perfect choice to spearhead missions about space-time tears, so you know, we really don't want to lose it to the Borg. See what I mean? They're very hard to put down! Let's scan it. It might reveal something about their defense systems. Interesting. A single drone did take a lot more combined fire to put down than our last encounters. Look, this drone is emitting a unique quantum signature. It's not from around here. Yeah, I suspected as much, but uh, you're the scientist. Okay, the drone's organic composition matches that of a human. From Terra. Add that to its quantum signature, and there's only one logical conclusion here. These Borg attacking us? They're from the Mirror Universe! That does seem to be where the evidence is pointing. Does that mean that that rift out there is connecting to the Mirror Universe? But we only recently dealt with issues there. 
by crossing over and back a lot. Did... did we break space? But that does explain why these Borg are so different so quickly. They're not our Borg. As we round the corner, we see several drones confronting a Starfleet commander. No! They just took commanders off! Well, here are universal or not, some of the tactics are the same. They're grabbing key personnel and taking them back to assimilate. More weapon fire ahead. Borg and Starfleet. Coming to the end of a corridor, we're faced with a containment field, so have to follow the Doctor through a diversion into a high security lab. Make every shot count, people! They've adapted! Use your remodulators! Larson! Look out! Nice shot! Let's deal with the rest of them now! Captain, are you okay? I'm fine. Give us a hand with these boards. Strange. Did that Borg hesitate? With our timely arrival, we're able to empty the laboratory of Borg, where we can see the ship was studying the rift. Thanks for the assist. These drones have some pretty impressive combat upgrades. I faced my share of Borg, and none of them were like this. These drones not only are acting differently, they actually look slightly different too. More silver and grey than black, and some were designated with further colorations, like that red one that cocked its head. Maybe it's got something to do with them being from the mirror universe. That would explain a lot. The heightened aggression, stronger combat systems, we even have a hard time locating them on sensors. We've noticed they assimilate combat trained officers and kill the rest. Strangely, none of them tried to assimilate me. You'd think the ship's captain would be a top priority for them. Odd, but we've got a different goal to accomplish, and it's not stop them going after other crew members. Right. We need to get to main engineering ASAP. Admiral Kamarke and her team might not have a lot of time left. Yes, and keep going. Eyes peeled. Come with me. So, these mirror board are using vortices to launch attacks. That makes every vortex a potential beachhead for them. Up ahead, some of my crew are trapped fighting drones. We need to help them. See if you can lower that security field. On it. Ramirez, Malone, hold on. We're going to get you out of there. Hurry, get that field down! What sort of... Why is the system being so sluggish? Captain, I think your ship might be compromised on some level because everything is chugging. Just when we're about to finish our task and lift the barrier, the crewmen die. System malfunction. Console inoperable. They... they're gone. I knew them. The family. We'd better get going. Help who we can, while we can. We turn away from our failed rescue to find another drone cornering a Cajun crew member beyond another containment field. Captain, help me, please! Damn it. This was her first tour out of the Academy. This time we don't even get the chance to attempt to save her before she's taken. There's a security team up ahead. They need backup. Well, no field in the way this time. Hopefully we can get to them in time. Look, it's the captain! Thanks, Captain. Things were looking rough for us. Well, at least that sub we saved, but we need to press on to engineering. Okay. Our best shot at reaching engineering is to go through the Jeffreys tubes. There are a number of routes once we get up there. We need to split up. Send your officers one way, and we'll take another. Increase the chance of at least one group arriving intact. Unassimilated. All right, team, you double back and get the security team to find your way to engineering. We'll take this route and reconvene outside the target. Agreed. Good luck, everyone. Let's get moving. We crawl up the ladder into an arrow access corridor and activate our torches to see. In the distance, we can hear the sound of battle, and it sounds like we're not doing well. Captain, Lieutenant Wen and I are heading in. Commander! Commander! Internal comms are being jammed. I think we can boost the signal near here. This way. The corridor ahead is blocked by a broken EPS conduit. Fortunately, the comms panel we need is just before that. Nice. 
We were able to boost comms without taking down anything critical. Let me try calling McDonald back. Kim to McDonald, repeat your last message. Lynn and I are heading to engineering. We'll meet you there. Understood. See you at engineering. We avoid the EPS discharge and find a locked maintenance door through some acrid smoke. Computer, unlock this door. Override code Kim314 Alpha. Ugh, the damage continues in here too. Watch your step. Rounding the next corridor, an eerie red glow marks a dangerous plasma leak. That's an obstruction. That EPS conduit is leaking. Should be able to reroute the flow around here. Thanks for getting that. I'm picking up a life sign ahead. Come on. Computer, unlock this door. Override code Kim2718 Epsilon. You have different override codes? You said there's a life sign ahead. Is it possible it's Borg? No, wait, you said you're having trouble detecting Borg at all. You round the next corner and find a crewman attempting to walk his way out of a hatch. Ensign Kolik, are you okay? I'm fine, sir. Good. Come with us. Aye, sir. Ah! Captain, it's got my leg! Kolik! Damn it! I lost him. We... we should get moving. I get it, it's frustrating to be crawling through here when we could be out there trying to help, but we need to get to the objective. Computer, unlock this door. Override code, Kim628 Omega. Seriously, how do you remember so many different codes? This is Kim. What just happened? Report! McDonald here. The drone charged when and I, and it blew up. Self-destruction. We're coming, Commander. Stay safe. Computer, unlock this door. Override code, Kim1839 Delta. Did she say the drone charged them, then exploded? That's new. Looks like some Borg are behind that door. It's reinforced, but it's only a matter of time. Let's keep moving. Captain, I need you to bring up security fields on deck three. We're on it, Commander. There should be an interface up ahead. Help me out. I see it. Give me a sec. Please, hurry. Oh no, Captain! They're on me! McDonald! Damn! No answer. Another drone. Looks like a tough one. Take it down. Oh, looks like they found their way into the Jeffers tubes. This drone seems to be carrying around a backpack of some description. It looks like a binculum, a processor hub of sorts for the ball. But they're not mobile, usually. The Borg's binculum is accelerating its regeneration. Tear it out before it heals itself. That was close. Nice work. That drone's personal regeneration was being greatly accelerated by that vink. Yeah, we ran into one of them earlier, before you arrived. That system isn't limited to self-repair. It can restore any board within range. They'll need to be priority targets. Right, enhanced repair functions. Okay. We should get to main engineering. The exit to this tube is just ahead. Main engineering isn't far from here. We're almost there. We exit the tube to see my away team approaching. It looks like we both made it, although the sounds of battle still rage ahead. It's like McDonald said, they can self-destruct! One of the drones near the rear of the squad begins to accumulate energy and make a beeline straight for us. When it reaches our troops, it detonates, knocking Bazaar unconscious. On top of this, we have one of those vinculum drones nearby too, attempting to repair its colleagues. Before we down it, it successfully manages to resurrect a fallen drone. So, as with the one in the Jeffreys tube, we run up to it and yank out the vinculum. The skirmish done, we get Bazaar back on his feet and take a moment to assess. It looks like these drones have specialty roles and coordinate them to be more effective in combat. They're more tactical than the brute force approach that we normally see from our war. I would suggest perhaps there's a queen nearby, but who knows what these mirror universe versions utilise. 
finally, we reach engineering, step inside, and see a firefight underway. Admiral Camarque, glad to see you're still with us. Thank you, Captain. Let's do what we can with these four. Two of the drones begin their detonation protocols and move into our midst. This is going to hurt. Captain, sorry I'm late. Commander, are you okay? I'll manage, sir. We can't let them take the protomatter tech. I'm on it, Captain. Huh? You're an astrophysicist, not an engineer. Actually, sir, I minored in engineering at the academy. Whatever you're gonna do, make it fast. The doc steps in to secure the protomatter data, while more Borg beam in. A mixture of drones and detonators, so we need to keep them off her. Well, you know, avoiding shooting the wall. Just when we take these ones down, more beam in behind us, including one of those vinculum drones. We focus fire on them, but the self-destructing ones grab our attention, and they prove to be the immediate threat. As we take them down, another wave beams in, again behind us, back by the core, which then gives the vinculum one enough time to get back on his feet. Yes, yes, these Borg are definitely far more troublesome than our universe counterparts. There, ripped it out, it's dead. <sighs> Doc, you're staring at the warp core, I can assume you're done? Wow, it actually worked. What What worked? I thought you were securing the data. It's, it's still there. I flooded the chamber with an improvised form of digital chat. It masked the presence of the protomatter tech, gave me time to put up a security field. As far as the Borg are concerned, there's no protomatter here, or on the ship. That's good work. Let's not assume it will fool them for long, though. We should be safe for a while. Let's hope they don't figure out my sneaky trick anytime soon. Admiral Kumarke, is your Vortex data secure and functional? I'll run a diagnostic now. Give me a moment to make some final entries. That should do- Help! Oh, oh no! 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 Help! Kumarke, 